Help support the companies that support our community. So my buddy Chris messaged me a couple weeks ago and asked me if I could make a trophy for his men's club. They're having their annual golf tournament and he wanted to know if I could do the trophy out of wood. The reason it is a whale is because out on the golf course there's a rock formation and it looks like a whale. He wanted to know if I could recreate that in wood. So that's the reason for the whale. Uh, Chris and I grew up together in Medford, Oregon, went to school together down there. Chris is in Colorado now, but we still keep in, in contact. We're actually going to be going through there on our way to Dallas this, uh, this fall. Um, so what I did was I basically just kind of gave it a rough shape on the bandsaw and then brought it over to the lathe. And the reason I did that, I put it in between centers, it's just much easier to work on. I can lock the lathe down as I'm trying to, as I'm carving it. So I use the turbo plane, it takes it down really quick. I just pulled up a couple of images on the laptop out here and shaped them uh, and then worked off of those as I was shaping it. And you might notice that the, the tail is tipped a little bit. And the reason I did that is because it's, I'm gonna make a, a small base for it where they're gonna put a, a plaque with the winner's name. Chris, it better be your name on that plaque, all right? That's the deal. Um, so what I did is I tipped the tail a little bit because when I put it on the stand, I'm gonna have the head it coming down a little bit and it tilt to the side. So you can see most of the tail from it. That's the reason I did that. Um, as far as the finish, I uh, just used the Howard's beeswax on it. Uh, I'll wait a couple of days and then put a final coat over the top of it. And then I uh, just uh, carved out the mouth and uh, and, the, and uh, used a wood burner and then wood burner on the eyes. And you might notice too in the, in the video, I left a kind of a big patch on the side of it. And the reason was because I wasn't quite sure where to put the fin until I got got it all shaped and figure out where the mouth was going to go and then after after that I, I brought it down to the size I wanted. Um, one other thing before I go, um, AW Symposium is in Portland, Oregon. It is coming up. It's a couple of weeks away. It's June 15th, 16th, and 17th at the, 17th at the Portland Convention Center. Please, if you're in there, come down and stop by. I want to say a huge thank you to Chris and everybody at Easywood. We are we're gonna have the mobile shop inside the vendor area, um, and they made that happen. Um, so we're gonna pull the pull the trailer right in there, set up the booth around it. Please stop by and say hi. It is free to the public, the vendor area and the gallery. It's it just come on in. Anybody in the area that wants to come in, we're gonna have some great demonstrators. Uh, I'm gonna be demonstrating uh, Heath Knuckles, Zach Higgins, uh, Rebecca DeGroote, Scott Grove are all gonna be demonstrating in the Easywood booth. So please stop by and say hi. We're gonna be hanging out there the whole weekend and having a great time. If this is your first time here, please hit the subscribe button. And if you would like and share the video, I would really appreciate it. It really helps out. All right, till next week, take care.